Hey YouTube, it's Spooky47 coming at you with another crypto video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to check the contract address for an Ethereum-based coin. So you can see here, I'm on CoinMarketCap. That's CoinMarketCap.com. If you go to the search bar, we're going to type in Wool. Wool is a Ethereum token associated with the Wolf Game NFT project, which I'm a huge fan of. If you're not familiar with it, I did an entire video tutorial series uh, on my YouTube channel. So check that out if you're interested. So to grab the contract address, it's really easy. All we have to do is copy address. And now it is, uh, it is in our clipboard. I'm going to head over to Etherscan. This is etherscan.io. And I'll leave links in the description for all these websites that I'm using. And we're just going to paste in the contract address for the wool token. I'm going to search it. And here we are on the Etherscan page for that. Now, finding the number of uh, holders, wallets that hold it, is really easy. All you have to do is go over to this part that says Token Tracker, click that link, and from here we can see the max total supply, and we could also see how many holders there are. And this currently has 5,695 holders. Another easy way to check this right from coinmarketcap.com is just to go to holders, this tab right here above the chart, click that. And the cool thing about this is you get some historical data. So we can check that on a seven day, a one month, or even a three month. So you can see that the number of wallet addresses that were holding this token really jumped in, in mid April. And that's usually a pretty bullish sign for a coin. So we can also find contract addresses for NFTs, Ethereum based NFTs. And in this case, I'm going to look at a recent project that I got involved in, Bulls and Apes project. In order to find the contract address, all you have to do is click into any one of these. I'm just going to click into the one that's on the floor there. And we're going to scroll down. And then under details, you're going to see contract address. You could also see token ID number to see what the token ID for this particular NFT is. Each of those is going to be unique for each NFT that's in the collection. So in the contract address, let's just go ahead and click that. And now we're on Etherscan. So from here, just like we did with the wool token, come over to the part that says token tracker, click this link, and I can see that the number of holders is 2008. Now, of course, you could just just as easily look at the the page's uh, main data right here. It shows you 2.0, uh, so 2,000 holders is what OpenSea is showing. But if you want to validate it yourself on the blockchain through Etherscan, that is a really easy way to do it. You could also see other data about the different transfers and stuff going on with it. So that is how you find a contract address for either a coin on coin market cap just click that little copy address button and you'll get it and then on nfts we go to open c for that any single one of these click into one details contract address i hope you found that video helpful i'll be doing a lot more crypto and nft tutorials so please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and have a great day